What's happening guys? You're watching Cuisine TV and we're back with another special episode for you today. Today, I'm gonna continue on our cooking at home series and I'm gonna bring you some incredible recipes. Uh, today, our entire episode is gonna be inspired by the legend, Raji Kibbi, who we met out in Lebanon in Beirut near the beginning of 2020. Now Raji is an absolute master at Lebanese food with a speciality for Lebanese breakfast cuisine goods. Um, he's been serving the good people of Beirut for years and we were really, really honored to be able to try his incredible food at his restaurant. So I'm gonna be bringing you some of the dishes that we tried at his restaurant here today. I'm gonna be showing you how it's done. From Raji's side, we're gonna try recreating a couple of dishes. So one is gonna be his incredible world-renowned fateh, and the other thing we're gonna try is a type of hummus that he made. It's a Levantinian variant of hummus. It's called the masabaha. So we're gonna bring you those two things from Raji's kitchen, inspired by him. And we're also gonna bring a falafel wrap, which we tried in falafel tabara, in Beirut, which was absolutely delicious. And remember, Raji's restaurant has won numerous accolades, including the best breakfast place in the world. So hopefully, we're gonna do him some justice with the recipes we bring to you today. So to begin with, we are gonna start making the falafel. Uh, it's gonna be a brilliant falafel sandwich inspired by our experiences in Beirut from the amazing falafel babara. And what the main ingredient here is, is obviously these dry, uncooked chickpeas. These have basically been soaking overnight and you need to make sure you use this type of chickpea because um, it's dry and effectively that helps the falafel stick together. If you use cooked chickpeas that you find in cans, you run the risk of it disintegrating because they're obviously mushy. Um, and we've also got some onions, we've got chopped up coriander and parsley. We have some plain flour for binding. We also have some lemon, some green chili, and some garlic. Um, I'll list out obviously all the full ingredients and amounts in the description below so you know. We're also gonna add some spicing to our falafel. This is the most enjoyable bit of the whole process. We're just gonna blitz everything together inside our food processor. So open that up. Let's begin by throwing in our chickpeas so they're nice and plump and ready to go. Then we're gonna add our parsley and coriander. You can, of course, add it in whatever order you like. Let's add our onions, pop in those chilies, the garlic, and throw in your lemon zest included. Now I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of chili powder, put in some coriander powder, teaspoon of black pepper, and of course, some cumin. Lovely strong flavors there. Now you get blending. Right, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this, just to help it out. You don't wanna to add too much, we're just adding it literally for the purposes of helping the blitzing process. Okay, so our falafel mix is now ready. Boy, it smells incredible. I can't wait to munch into this. So, now we're gonna do is just transfer our falafel content to a bowl. We're now just gonna add a couple of big spoons of plain flour. And this is just to help it all stick together when we formulate the ball shapes, the falafel balls. Let's also add one tablespoon of baking powder. Just helps it to rise and adds a little bit of a crunch to it, which is brilliant. So I'm just gonna go in now and mix this all together. And it shouldn't be too wet in consistency and texture. If it is, you just add a bit more flour and that will help absorb it. And what we do is just round this into a ball. 
but you can play around with it and you can actually make it into whatever shape you like. In Falafel Tabara in Beirut, they made it into a lovely donut shape. So now once we've done that, we basically get the falafel, dunk it in a bit of sesame seeds. They add a lovely crunch, a lovely texture to everything. And that's it. So as you'll be able to hear, the oil is nice and hot, ready for us to deep fry our falafel. So we've obviously prepared our falafel, you see how we do that. We're just gonna chuck it into our hot oil now and let it fry for a few minutes. So in that goes. Pop them all in. So you can see one side now is lovely, that lovely golden brown colour. So what we're gonna do is just flip them over. We've been frying for a couple of minutes now. So while our falafel is frying, I'm just gonna show you really quickly how to make this amazing tahini sauce. This is crucial to making this falafel sandwich amazing. We had it in falafel tabbara and it just takes it to another level. So it's quick and easy. All you do is get a couple of tablespoons of tahini. Um, you're gonna need some yogurt. You're gonna need some mayonnaise and some garlic. And effectively, all you're doing is chucking everything in together. So a bit of garlic goes in there. Get a good squeeze of mayo in there. Add some yogurt. I really, really love this sauce. And all you gotta do is mix away. And that will turn into a beautiful, beautiful tahini sauce. I'm just gonna add a little bit of lemon juice, just to add a little bit of tang to it. And that's pretty much it. Very quick, very easy, beautiful tahini sauce. That's gonna take your falafel sandwich to another level. Okay, now that we've made our tahini sauce, we're gonna make the other sauce, which is crucial for this falafel sandwich. Um, in falafel tabara, they use this amazing homemade chili sauce, uh, secret ingredient passed down generations. But I'm gonna try and replicate something similar. Uh, and it consists of basically chopped tomato, some uh, lightly fried, garlic, some fried chili, uh, a little bit of oil, and some salt. And hopefully, that should do the trick for us. We're just gonna add all the content of the pan and the sauce to a blender, and we are effectively gonna blitz this until it's nice and smooth. In this, in with this. All of that goes into the pan, all that fried, chili garlic goodness, which is gonna add so much flavor. And just a little bit of salt, basically to taste. And you know what to do. Blitz away. Cool, so once you're done blending, just transfer the sauce into a bowl. And soon we'll be ready put our amazing falafel sandwich together. Our falafel is looking ready. It's that lovely golden brown color. We're just gonna remove it from the pan now. Put it on a plate. Brilliant. The falafel is ready. Time to assemble the sandwich. So basically grab your bread. Um, I like to make sure I've toasted my bread. Makes it nicer, so toast it if you want. If you don't want to, that's fine. Cut the bread open. I've gone for a Greek style um, pita bread here. And what we're gonna do is start with the tahini sauce. So smother a good layer of that on there. Then falafel goes on and crush it. And then we're gonna add a few of the sort of vegetables. Let's also add chili sauce. Our incredible falafel sandwich. Glorious falafel sandwich inspired by falafel tabara in Beirut, Lebanon. So that's our first dish out of the way. Now we're going to move on to the next one the amazing fateh inspired by the one and only legend that is Raji Kibbi. So, what we've done here is we've fried up some croutons, we've deep fried some pita bread, and what we're going to do is just Sprinkle some of it down on the base. That's gonna make the base of our dish 
Then what we're gonna do is put in those chickpeas. Again, these have been boiled for a while now, just to make sure that they're soft. And we're gonna pop chickpeas onto our dish. You can use canned chickpeas, boil them further just to make them even more soft if you want. And then comes that beautiful yogurt. You spread that yogurt all over. Now what we're gonna do is add a few more croutons to the side and add some seasoning. I've added uh, chili powder, some pepper, some dried coriander. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt as well. So we've got on our croutons, our seasoning, our yogurt, our chickpeas, and now to add the final Raji Kibbi touch, we're gonna add some pine nuts fried in ghee and that's just gonna top off the dish. So Raji is key ingredient, some amazing ghee. You slap that in a pan. The fatty, fatty goodness of the ghee. We're gonna chuck in some pine nuts and these are gonna make the topping of our dish. So in those pine nuts go, fry them up nicely in the ghee. You wanna get this nice and sizzling because this is what's gonna add that lovely, hot, sizzling, flamey flavor to our dish. And now that we've got our pine nuts and we've got the ghee, we wanna do it Raja, keep this side, we go, come on. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. One of a kind, Raji Kibbe style, fuck day. Okay, and to round off this episode, we're gonna make some of Raji Kibbe style hummus. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it's a Levantinian variant called Masabaha, and it basically means here that the hummus is a bit more whole and it's not as blended and silky smooth as you might used to be having. So, the way you start this off is some garlic, some chili, and some salt. You put in the grinder, and you basically get grinding. Once you've grinded all that, chuck it into a bowl. Okay, now that you've smashed up your garlic and your chili, you add the main ingredient, which is the chickpeas. And you know, Raja masterfully manages to mush this and mix it a little bit. I've got nowhere near the level of skill that he has, but I'm giving it a go. You add a little bit of, Raja used the secret sauce that he makes. I'm gonna add a little bit of tamarind to it. Okay, and then you wanna add your olive oil. Add some spices. Top it off with a little bit of mint. And there you have it. The masala or Raju Kibbe style hummus. So that's it, that's our spread of Lebanese inspired dishes that we discovered on our trip to Lebanon. Obviously Raji Kibbi, the legend, inspired two of these dishes. That's the fakte and the hummus or masabaha and then obviously inspired by falafel tabara which is a street stall serving up the best falafel potentially in the world inspired us to make this falafel at home. So falafel sandwich first thing Man, that's just taken me back to the streets of Lebanon. That is delicious. Falafel, absolutely delicious, so flavoursome. That tahini sauce and that chilli sauce really just up it to a whole new level. I'm gonna try the masaba her next. Let's take a spoon of this. Thank you, Raji Kibbi. Mmm! Oh, that is delicious. So tasty. The chickpeas is so soft and that lovely oily goodness that you add from the olive oil with a little bit of chili. So flavoursome, so amazing, so tasty. Let's try the fakta. The chickpeas, yogurt, crouton, pine nut mishmash. Mmm, oh wow. 
Those croutons are so crunchy. You get a soft texture from the chickpeas. It really does remind me of that amazing food that we had in Lebanon. All three dishes came out really well. I'm very happy with them. Do they taste anywhere near as good as the originals? Definitely not. Rajay Kibbe holds the title of having the best breakfast in the world, so I can't even compete with him. But at least I can try and experience those amazing flavors and tastes at home through so creating these in my kitchen. Do the same, give it a go. All the ingredients will be listed in the description below, so you can give this a go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been our Lebanon at home cuisine episode. Three dishes, two from the legend Raji Kibbi, one from Falafel Tabbara. I hope you try it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video with all your friends, and also hit that bell notification button so you get a notification anytime we upload. That's it for now. I'm gonna go back to enjoying these incredible dishes. We'll see you next time. Bye.